Hello friends, welcome to this video. Agenda for this video is first, I will take you through key developments over the last fortnight and we'll see how indices have fared over the last one month and last fortnight. Then my colleague Vinay will come and he will share market outlook from technical perspective. After that, my colleague Siddharth will come and share market outlook from derivatives perspective. In the end, I will share our observations and key takeaways and conclude this webinar. Let's straight away jump into the key developments. One of the most important events happened over the last fortnight is the fiasco over the future exchange or the FTX. It has filed a chapter 11 bankruptcy and its CEO SBF has resigned. FTX was supposed to be one of the largest exchanges where digital assets were traded and it had been lauded by many market observers as one of the most transparent crypto operations. Many celebrities have endorsed this exchange. But now in investigation, it turned out that it had few internal controls. It has not kept any financial records. There were no CFO, no board of directors, no official books or records. They used unsecured email and didn't secure private crypto keys or the confidential information. Had no position reconciliation or record retention policy and generally lacked any form of corporate governance. This is a big fiasco. After this, we feel that the US regulatory oversight over the crypto industry, which has not been coming or slow to come, now this event will speed up and all cryptocurrencies will now come under government control. Second important event to watch out for is the Black Friday sale. Black Friday is a colloquial term for the Friday after Thanksgiving in the United States. It traditionally marks the start of the Christmas shopping season in the US. Many stores offer highly promoted sales at a discounted prices. Now, why it is important? It will be interesting to check the retail sales number because it will show the true picture of the US consumer's health and to check what extent the purchasing power has got eroded due to fall in equity markets, lower house valuations and rampant inflation. One more key development is that crude has declined more than 13% in last two weeks and it is now trading below 80 a dollar. That is important and good development for countries like India. Q3 earnings season has ended and it has turned out to be a little better than market expectations. Now let's look at uh, various important asset classes and instruments and how they have fared. So as we have pointed out the dollar index, it topped around 114 in mid of October and from there it has in the downturn and it is trading near 106. So a fall in dollar is considered good for emerging markets like India. The S&P 500, it uh, bottomed out near 3500 level and it surged to 4000 level. Now it is consolidating near this 4000 level between 4000 and 3900 levels. Nasdaq had a feeble bounce. It is still near its uh, 10,400 support. As I mentioned, crude oil is in downturn and now it is back to its 85-80 band. Copper after a sharp rally, it has now come back to a good support and it should bounce back from here. Bitcoin, because of the fiasco in uh, the FTX, it fell sharply over the last fortnight and from 21 odd thousand levels, it has now come back to 16,000. And if you were to see, it has a nasty fall from 70,000 level. Now it has fallen back to 16,000 odd levels in last one year. Let's look at the international and Indian indices. So American markets have rebounded by 4 to 5 percent in last fortnight. And other markets related to China have had a strong bounce like Hang Seng is up by 11%. Indian markets are more or less stable. As many of you remember, we had a strong uh, uptrend in the fortnight earlier to this fortnight. Now our markets are consolidating. In fact, mid cap and small cap had had a small correction. Now time has come that uh, mid cap and small cap should start rallying back towards Nifty and Sensex. What other sectors? So technology has had a strong comeback. It is up by 3, 3.5% 3 over the last fortnight. Consumer durables, power and automobiles are the weak sector. Metals are flat over the last fortnight, but 
due to the rollback of the export duties over steel we expect that metals will outperform the broader indices over the next fortnight so keep an eye on metal stocks from monday so the next week is going to be a holiday shortened week wednesday japanese markets are closed thursday there is a thanksgiving holiday in us important event is on monday the chinese central bank will announce its one and five year interest rate changes so it's going to be a low volume affair in markets over the next one week so that was my portion about key developments and indices now i'll hand it over to my colleague vinay who will take us through technicals over to you vinay hello friends myself vinay rajani senior technical and derivative analyst at hdfc securities today i will go through the technical developments on nifty as well as on bank nifty and i will also go through the some breath indicators which are suggesting a bullishness in the market for the coming time so let's look at nifty on shorter time frame this is nifty daily chart and these are the moving averages which i have placed these are the 20 50 and 100 days exponential moving average so nifty has been holding about 20 50 and 100 days moving average as well as its 200 days moving average which indicates that nifty has been holding its uptrend on all time frames so overall primary trend of the nifty is bullish on friday we saw a nice recovery from the lower level um nifty found support at the gap area this gap was huge and it was formed on 11th of november and this gap range was in the range of 18100 to 18260 so nifty made a low around 18200 odd levels and found support and recovered nicely so in that way nifty has been holding its uptrend and our view for the short term in on the nifty is bullish friends now look at nifty on a bigger time frame this is a weekly chart of nifty and this is a october 2021 period where we saw nifty making 18604 as a all time high and after that we saw that nifty has started made, making the lower tops and lower bottom formation so in june 2022 nifty formed a major bottom and after that it started recovering and in this recent times in the month of october 2022 we saw that nifty took support and bounce back sharply this was a higher bottom formation and after that nifty has also surpassed the previous top resistance so ultimately we saw that nifty has confirmed the height of higher bottom formation on a weekly chart so it's a very good sign and this was not only the height of higher bottom formation this was 18100 was a crucial double top resistance which nifty actually taken out it's a very good sign and if you were to look at the overall pattern this is the inverted head and shoulder pattern which in technical terms we can say that it's a breakout on the medium term charts and targets are much much higher than the current levels so as of now we are not going by those targets as of now we are taking view for couple of weeks only so overall view is that nifty should be held long with the stop loss of 18000 to 18100 as a stop loss uh, dips should be accumulated for the long positions friends now look at a bank nifty charts and uh, now this is a weekly chart of bank nifty and bank nifty has been outperforming that we all know and 41800 was a crucial double top resistance which bank nifty took out in recent past and now comfortably trading above 42400 now next target for the bank nifty are seen at 42900 and once that is taken out we can expect a target of 44200 now these are the targets which is derived from the fibonacci extension levels as far as support is concerned we believe that 41800 is a crucial support and around that level if bank nifty comes down then one can accumulate longs in the bank nifty friends now i would like to share some important observation for the small cap index we all know that small caps have been underperforming nifty and bank nifty and for one and half month traders are not getting good returns in the small caps everybody has question where are the headed small cap index and small cap stocks are headed now this is a important observation this is a ratio chart of small cap against the nifty now here you can see that this is a crucial support which is coming in so basically this red line is nothing but the ratio chart uh, of small cap divided by the nifty now this under performance is likely to come to an end because this is a long term horizontal trend line support and from here we ex we can expect small caps to outperform so if small caps do better than nifty this red line chart will go up so that's what we expect this is a ratio analysis which indicates that there is a long term support for the small caps against the nifty and small caps can outperform the nifty from here 
So friends, same way we have done analysis for Nifty IT index. This is a weekly ratio chart of Nifty IT divided by Nifty. So it suggests that this is a trend line support. This is a horizontal trend line which adjoins the 2015 top and 2018 top. And as we can see over here, it found support around this level and started bouncing back. So if this chart, if this red line is going up, that means you can say that Nifty IT index has started performing against the Nifty. And Nifty could underperform the Nifty IT stock. So you can accumulate the Nifty IT stocks from here on for the medium to long term gains. So this is a breadth indicator which we have been tracking. It is nothing but the number of stocks trading above the 200 DMA for the NSC 500 index. So uh, the on the upper side you can see that this is a NSC 500 index. This is a price chart. And this beneath of that you can see that this is the number of stocks above 200 DMA chart. Now as of now around 57 percent of the stocks in nse 500 are trading above the 200 days moving average so any number above 50 percent you can say that breath is strong for the healthy it's a healthy sign for the bullish market and if that number holds above 50 percent then you can say that overall health of the market is good and uh, we can expect some more bullishness in the coming time so friends let us conclude nifty and bank nifty are holding their uptrend Nifty support seen in the range of 18,000 to 18,100. Resistance for the Nifty is seen at 18,600, which happens to be the previous all time high. Breakout from the inverted head and shoulder pattern on the weekly chart of Nifty predicts the healthy upside in the medium to long term. Bank Nifty support is seen at 41,800, while resistance for Bank Nifty are seen at 42,900 and 44,200. Underperformance of the small cap against Nifty is likely to reverse from here and we can expect some good performance coming in from small cap and mid caps. Nifty IT index seems to have bottomed out for the medium to long term looking at the ratio analysis. Breadth of the market is still holding strong as 57% of the stocks from NSC 500 are above their 200 days moving average. So advice would be traders are advised to hold long position in Nifty with the 18,000 stop loss dip should be utilized to accumulate longs. We expect small caps and mid cap stocks to perform well from here against the Nifty from the current levels. Thank you everyone. Thank you Vinay. Now let's go to Siddharth. Over to you Siddharth. Welcome to SGC Securities JRT Outlook for the 19th November 2022. Let's start. We are currently seeing a Nifty 5 days chart where in the initial days Nifty has risen uh, by almost 200 points and it has almost corrected 150 points in the last one and a half sessions. If you compare this with the open interest, basically Nifty open interest has come down with the fall in prices, which suggesting long unbending in the Nifty future. If you see the IV data, IV has actually come down with the fall in IV prices, which is a good indication. And if you see the PCR, PCR is already heading towards its oversold territory of 0.75. Currently, it is trading at 0.9 level. This is a bank nifty chart of last five session where bank nifty has risen by 0.5 percent with the fall in open interest of 4.60 uh, if you compare this with the iv and uh, pcr iv has basically come down from 17.5 level to the 14.6 level suggesting a lower premium for the options for the bank nifty and if you see the pcr also pcr also come down from 1.2 level to 0.86 and which is also heading towards its oversold territory of 0.75 suggesting a bounce in coming session for the bank nifty also uh, now we'll move towards the sector open interest data analysis where cement oil and gas saw built up a fresh long position where open interest has risen with the rise in prices whereas chemical textile media sector which has also shown a rise in open interest but fall in prices suggesting a short build up of position outlook for the nifty bank nifty sectors for the coming fourth night long unwinding was seen in nifty future with the highest put option open interest near 18,000 level suggests support around this level for the near term. Call rating was seen at around 18,500 to 18,900 level suggests resistance around this level for the near term. Whereas put rating was seen around 18,300 to 18,000 level suggests support around this level in the near term. If Nifty reaches 18,300 level in the coming session then may it may head towards 18,000 level where the maximum put option open interest is there. Outlook for the bank Nifty. Short covering was observed in the bank Nifty in the last week. Sectorally, PSC Bank and IT, specifically IT about 16,000 level, may see outperformance against Nifty in the coming sessions. Thank you, Siddharth. Now let's try to conclude this presentation. So, global equity markets are rebounding. 
dollar index is in downturn crude oil is coming down and that is good for markets like india base metals are rebounding on back of what is happening in china and copper should rebound from here indian markets breath indicator suggests that markets are headed higher on the back of what government has done for the export duties we think that the metal stocks will rebound over the next fortnight we continue to remain bullish on it and psu banks it is time to retain those bullish bets and add to it on every decline indian small cap stocks have consolidated over the last fortnight and we feel that they should start outperforming from now so it is time to bet on small stocks that is all for this presentation that's all for this video we hope you like this video and find the information provider useful if you have any comments or suggestion do reach out to us thank you